Hi, my name is Felipe, and in this video I'll help you to set up a GitLab server on your QNAP NAS. The very first requirement that we have is from GitLab itself that asks us to have at least 8 gigabytes of available RAM in order for you to run properly GitLab server. So in case your NAS has 8 gigabytes or less, I wouldn't really recommend you to install GitLab on your NAS because then you're not going to have enough RAM to run the other instances or the other tasks that your NAS requires, such as SMB networking or NFS networking. So let's get into the video now how to set up your GitLab on your Kin app. First thing you need to do is to install Container Station from the App Center. In case you don't have it, just go to the App Center, look for Container, and you're going to find Container Station, just install it. Once you have it installed, open it. And there are two ways that you can install. The first one is to use a package that is available here in the container station. So if you scroll down here, you're gonna find a GitLab uh, app, but this one actually not doesn't really run on the latest version of GitLab. Uh, it needs three different uh, instances running together in order to make the app work. So it's a little bit difficult to manage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the official community edition release for Docker from GitLab. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into images, we're gonna click on poll, and we in registry we're gonna leave it as Docker Hub, and image we're gonna type GitLab forward slash GitLab dash C, and in image version we're gonna leave it to latest, and then we're gonna click on pull. This will make uh, container station download that image from GitLab or oh, from Docker and soon we're gonna have it ready here for us. The process of downloading the image for the first time and the process to updating GitLab is exactly the same. If, you, if there is a new version of GitLab and you need to update, you're gonna do exactly the same thing. You're gonna come to pull, you're gonna download the latest image. It's gonna come appear here in your list as a new image, and then you're gonna create a container out of it. And right now I will show you how to set up and how to update this container. So I have my image now. I will click on this plus button to create a new container. You don't need to change the name, you can if you want. And we're gonna start uh, saying what resources out of our NAS that we want to make available for our GitLab server. Do I want to make 100% uh, of my CPU availability to the QNAP server? In this case, I will make only 50% available. And out of my total RAM, because my unit has 16 gigabytes of RAM, I'm gonna give it eight gigabytes. Under advanced settings, this is where you're gonna need to have a little bit of knowledge in networking. Uh, if you want your GitLab instance to be internet facing, you're gonna need to know how to forward ports and so on. So in my case, I'm not gonna be behind a virtual switch within the QNAP. I will have my container communicating directly with my router here. So for that, I will choose bridge. In this case, on my router, I can set up the port forwarding rules that I need for this instance. And I will use a static IP so it never changes. Now, this is my own specific setup. Now, your network may be different, so this will be really up to you. And then, if you're just installing for the first time, that's all you need to do. And then you can click on create. In case you're updating your version of GitLab, you're gonna go into shared folders. And there are these three folders that before you made the update, you would have come here to the same place, shared folders, and you would copy what's the volume address for those folders. In my case, I have it here. I have the log one. This is the name of my volume and I will put it here. Same thing for the OPT. And the last volume right here. And then I can click on create. Now, if I go to overview, I will see that container appearing here. And then I can click on it. And I can see here on the console all the actions that are happening right now to create that container. In my case, because I am doing an update, 
the container will read all the information from those volumes that I had already set before and it will be already configured. Once the container is fully ready to be used, there will be a URL that will appear right here. And this is gonna be the URL that you're gonna use to access your GitLab instance. Just out of experience, I already know that my instance is ready to be used and I know the IP address for it. So I'm gonna open another tab here and I'll paste that address that is 10.0.1.15 and the port in which I had configured and right now I have it here open. And this is my fully configured instance that I had before, so it already has my logo. Uh, now I will show you how to set up an external address, so a external URL in case you have a domain uh, on your GitLab. So we're gonna click here on terminal, come to this run command and we're gonna do forward slash bin, forward slash bash, okay. Now we are on the terminal window for GitLab and we're gonna go to CD, the etc folder, GitLab. We're gonna use the command nano gitlab.rb to get into the GitLab configuration file. And you can see here, this is the line where we're gonna change. So originally you're probably gonna have it like this with the pound sign in the beginning you're gonna remove that pound sign and in external URL, you're gonna put the full URL of your subdomain or your domain where this GitLab is gonna be running. In my case, it's running over at postlab.creativebeast.com and the port number is 10443. Now, if your QNAP, or actually in this case, if you forward the port 80 to your container, you're gonna be able to get an SSL uh, certificate for your GitLab through this file here. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna look for uh, the line that says let's encrypt. So we're gonna use Ctrl W to search and we're gonna do let's encrypt. And here it is a couple, uh, a few of the settings. You're gonna have to uncomment all of these lines and you're gonna put the details for your SSL certificate. The only thing that you really need to do here is to get Let's Encrypt to enable. You're gonna have to put your contact email address. The rest will just stay the way it is. Auto renew, you will want to have it as true. And the rest here, you can just copy what I have on my screen. After you've done that, you're gonna do Ctrl O to write out that, uh, that those settings. You're gonna hit enter to save. Then you're gonna do Ctrl X to exit. And we're gonna use the following command in order to restart our container to read this new configuration, which is gitlab-ctl reconfigure. My GitLab has been reconfigured. So now I can come here and use my address, HTTPS. And here it is, and it has my SSL certificate installed. That's it, that's all you need in order to install GitLab on your QNAP and have it ready to be running on the internet or only just on your internal network. In case you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and I see you in the next one. <laughs>